This expression though, really, it's pretty creepy. Hey guys, my name is Vyas Dehmanish and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64. Now, in the last episode guys, we completed a lot of quests in Gakariko Village, got ourselves some heart pieces and some sculptors, and we also learned a new song called Sadia's Song, which we actually learned in Lost Woods in the Sacred Forest Meadow. And we also got ourselves some heart pieces, some sculptors, and a lot of different prizes in the Lost Woods itself. Now today guys, before we go ahead, and uh, wrap up things here in Kokiri Forest. I'm gonna go ahead and make my way to a certain house in which we will obtain a sculptor, which we can only obtain now, or uh, which we can obtain right now, because there are a few sculptors which we can't really obtain as of uh, yet. But I'm, try I'm trying to go ahead and uh, just get as many as I can at a particular time so that I don't go ahead and miss out any at the end of it. So today we're gonna go ahead and make our way towards Death Mountain, actually. Okay, this is weird. Let me go ahead and just walk backwards. Okay, this is, there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just um, uh, kill the sculptor and get the sculptor token. And after this, guys, what's gonna go ahead and happen is that. Okay, no, 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 no not that way. There you go. Okay, guys, so in this episode, we're gonna, we are actually gonna. <laughs> God, I can't speak. So we are actually gonna go ahead and make our way towards Death Mountain to go ahead and take on the second temple within this game. But however, I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and take on the second temple itself in this game, but rather I'm just gonna go ahead and complete the quest around the area so that we can go ahead and be ready for the temple in the next episode. Now the reason I'm not taking the temple in this episode mostly is because I don't really wanna go ahead and like take on about half of the temple in one episode and then like the rest half in an in like another episode because otherwise because I just want to complete like a full temple in in like one episode because it's gonna be pretty uh, org it's gonna be I don't know what to go ahead and say it's pretty organized that way and it's gonna go ahead and allow you guys if you're uh, playing along to go ahead and have an easier time <coughs> now so we're gonna be making our way <coughs> uh, back to Kakariko Village and eventually to a Death Mountain. Now I do know that, that uh, Death Mountain sounds incredibly creepy because it's about death and it sounds scary, spooky, whatever. But overall, it's just a really, really nice place. But there are just a few enemies, but uh, but pretty much nine times out of ten you won't reach death, so uh, you don't even have to be scared about that. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and just obtain the um, uh, twenty rupees or rather uh, forty rupees from the two chains together, combined. Now. This is going to be a little tough. Oh god! See, that's what happens. Like it's pretty narrow, but at the same time, like you can go through it if you're pretty precise on how you go ahead and walk through it. So you could tell. Wow! I think I got just like an extra a sum of money, <laughs> which is nice and all. But okay, uh, here's not the area. Just gonna go ahead and swim fast before I go ahead and uh, make it to night time, <laughs> and then we again go ahead and FJ. <laughs> Uh, change it back today because if we change it uh, today in this location, we'll go ahead and spawn right at the entrance of where we actually came from uh, Kokeri Forest, which is going to be a long way uh, back. <coughs> My voice is still not okay. That's precisely the reason I have a glass of water next to me because it becomes so dry at the end of it. So, there you go. let's go ahead and just try to climb this and let's go ahead and try to jump this. Or jump off this. I keep jumping into the water for some reason. I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, now we can go ahead and make our way to Kakariko Bridge. I I just wanted to get about a good sum of money because we were pretty much broke, and I didn't want uh, must to be actually broke. That's like zero rupees. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make our way to Kakariko and eventually to Death Mountain. Now, as you guys could have probably. Uh, remember, uh, Death Mountain is the abode of the Gorons, which are pretty huge creatures as compared to Link in uh, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. You actually could change into a Goron if, if, if you guys remember from my LP. <laughs> that LP of mine was so bad, I still hate that LP so much. Yeah, so I don't think we've uh, actually ever heard the theme of this area, which is pretty calm and nice. I'm just gonna let you guys hear it for about like a minute or so because we're gonna be making our way to Death Mountain soon.
Yeah, so essentially this uh, whole uh, thing that we are extremely small and we can't go ahead and enter into Death Mountain, but only we know that we have the princess's letter. Yes, indeed, this princess Zelda's handwriting. This is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. Yes, lofty hearts content at the end, we are gonna go ahead and save your life. Freaking moron. Fine, that's enough, man, really. <clears throat> yeah, so. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're gonna climb that mountain, you should at least equip a proper shield. Why do everybody, like, why does everybody want us to just equip a shield and a sword? But we, we are independent, like, we are heroes. Heroes don't need advice. Well, that's pretty bad of me to go and say that. It's fine. I already have a pretty good shield with me, called the, called the Hylian Shield. Oh wow, favor? Nice. Oh yeah, okay, okay, so this quest is pretty much a reference to a quest which we will do later on in this game called the, called the Happy Mask Quest. <clears throat> which, by which you will feel very sad because you won't get anything much by it, but of course, we're gonna go ahead and help this guy soon in the future. Um, though he went ahead and mocked us and ridiculed us, I don't think we should be a bad person because I often hear the saying, that if somebody uh, behaves badly to you, don't behave to them the way they treated you because uh, then, like, how different are you from them? <laughs> so, I have actually never done all the sculptures I can go ahead and obtain now. Here are some red tectites which actually died in about two or like about one or two hits. Not that sure, but let's go ahead and just make our way over here. Okay, so let me, let me go ahead and just try to. <laughs> Um, see where I can go ahead and do it because I don't really want to go ahead and uh, miss any of the sculptures. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, pause for a sec and I'll just go ahead and check out my paper which I've written next to me. <laughs> Alright, so it does the. Alright. Okay. So, <clears throat> now, uh, right now, we are going to go ahead and make our way to the Goron city. Which is going to be, okay, now here's a Goron which you need to be pretty careful about. Yeah, so, like, so the huge creatures we, who like, you just now saw, yeah, those are the Gorons. So, they're pretty huge cre creatures, they can go ahead and destroy you, but overall they are really, really nice creatures. So, I don't really know why people have to be afraid of them. Alright, now, here we are in Goron city. So our main aim as of now is to go ahead and meet the person, the ultimate leader of all of the Gorons. Wow, nice. <laughs> I thought we, were, we actually were going to go ahead and die by that. Or like uh, actually gain uh, a lot of damage. Not really die because you can't really die with just one hit. Except if you fall like really, really high where like you can't even really see the bottom of it. So, uh, wrong. Uh, no. I keep forgetting the theme. Uh, there you go. So we have to go ahead and play the princess's lullaby or Zelda's lullaby <coughs> here. And this will lead us to the chamber of the ultimate leader of all the Gorons. Now after this we have to go ahead and light up all of the torches here which is going to be something which we already did in Majora's Mask. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that's so like... Th that's like how I used to swear a lot when I just... I thought that it is fine to go ahead and um, say fuck. <laughs> because, yeah, it is fine in today's world, but I meant like, I used to use it way too much and it just sounded very, very weird, so that's pretty much how it sounded right now. Though heck is not really a swear word, I used to say fuck way too often. But anyway, let's go ahead and just um, play Saria, uh, play Saria's song, because if we go ahead and play this song, something really, really weird is going to go ahead and happen. No, oh, that sounds lame. I keep forgetting the themes for some reason, but this is the thing. Okay, it's pretty sure it's over here. <coughs> this is the Sun's Song. 
Wait, actually, did I miss a heart piece anywhere? I don't remember myself missing any heart pieces, but because I'm pretty sure we're supposed to have two heart pieces by now. Okay, wait a sec. <laughs> um. Oh, okay, fine. I think I got it. Okay, so this is. Let's go and play this. No, it's not Samsung. I'm just pretty paranoid about why I can't really go and find <clears throat> this uh, second heart piece which I have to go and find. That's pretty weird, actually. <clears throat> this is the most weirdest dance ever. Come on, come on, come on! He's pretty high. I just spilled, like, I was about to spill my glass of water. Wow. That is so close. <coughs> yeah, so he. His name is Daronia. But he. I don't know if I missed any heart pieces back in the last week. Did, did, uh, did I? I don't remember if I did. So I guess we didn't really collect one of the heart pieces. So I'm probably going to be making my way back to the last woods and also going to be collecting that heart piece in this episode if we have enough time. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, get it after we collect the next heart container in the next temple. Wow, well, nice. That's pretty good. <coughs> Okay, so he's gonna give us a little something, which is called the Goron's bracelets. <coughs> we, uh, now this can allow us to go ahead and pick up a bomb flowers, and also and also this looks pretty badass. So anyway, let's go ahead and just I keep falling off that. <coughs> so here are some deco. What? Okay. <laughs> So here are some deco sticks. So we will need the, the, the deco sticks anyway because we have to go ahead and light up all of all, like all of the the torches here. So I told you guys. So okay, here is the central torch. So if you can go ahead and take this, there you go. And if you can just go and run quickly because, as you guys probably know, uh, deco sticks of fire don't actually last forever. Now this is pretty much just a tool. Just go ahead and make this central thing revolve around. Which is going to be pretty useful because we have to go ahead and obtain a heart piece by that. There you go. Why does Link spin for that? <laughs> that's, that's so weird. <coughs> Alright, so now, since we have pretty much completed all that we can do over here, I'm going to go ahead and obtain the heart piece, which will take a lot of time actually speaking because we will need the bomb flowers. And the bomb flowers are actually quite a distance away. And not here. So, actually, like, we have to throw a bomb or a bomb flower. Now, we will get bombs after the uh, second temple in this game, but I feel like it's doing it now. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and just try once, and if I don't get it, it's gonna be pretty bad. Now, the main thing is that if it stops on a particular face. Well, that's the best I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys in just one sec after we go ahead and actually nail it, and I make it into the. A uh, huge pot, and I actually get the happy face, which will go ahead and give us a heart piece. And I'll see you guys in just one sec. Wow, first try. <laughs> I think I shouldn't have cut because it is just like about one second after I actually got that. Nice. It's pretty much pushing us away. And we also got ourselves a pretty good sum of money, so this is actually really good so far. So we kind of, uh, so I don't think we actually can obtain it any more sculptors over here because we will need. Um, something to go ahead and get the sculptor. So, once again, trail entrance, entrance of temple. Go all right. So, let's go ahead and make our way uh, outside Goron City, which is pretty confusing because I don't really remember where we were. <laughs> but anyway, I can go ahead and do this because I played this game so many times. These are very, very long steps. Uh, these 
um, set of stairs are so huge. Now these sort of like boulders we can break using uh, the bombs which we will uh, as I said which we will get in the next temple in this game which is the second temple which we will be get uh, which we will be uh, tackling pretty soon not gonna lie. Okay so now here's a bomb flower which we, uh, which we actually have to go ahead and throw to go ahead and make the entrance of the temple actually go ahead and open. Like I'm pretty sure this is gonna go ahead and work. Nice, there you go. So that is the entrance to the temple, guys. Now there's a little something I can go ahead and do. It is too long. I'm gonna go and just try to do this. Uh, so I'm gonna go and just save here once because if I do fall off it, okay, let's go ahead and try to do this. There you go, perfect. And here. We can go ahead and obtain ourselves another hard piece. Now this is another glitch which we can go ahead and do because normally you, uh, you actually have to plant a magic bean here in this patch which will be over here. Yeah, over here. But we can go ahead and do that by a pretty cool glitch which I once again learned from Zelda Master. <laughs> now, here we, uh, now here if we can go ahead and just uh, deposit some bugs we can go ahead and get ourselves another sculptor. Then if I go and just collect this one more bug because I just want to keep uh, <laughs> using the bugs because it's not like we get them that often, right? It's pretty close by. There you go. So uh, right now we have. I'm going to see how many skull flies we go and have this moment. 17. Nice, actually. That's pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and make my way to Lost Woods once again, and I'm, and I'm just going to go ahead and, and just check if we actually missed the hard piece or if we didn't, because we pretty much completed all the quests we could. So I could actually complete the entire temple in this episode, which is pretty nice. I, I, I actually thought it would, like it would take a long time, but we, but it didn't, which is pretty good. So I'll just go ahead and just meet you guys in just one sec after I go ahead and uh, reach Lost Woods, and I'll just check if I actually missed the hard piece or not, and if I did, I'll go ahead and just... Um, I'll see you guys there and collect it, or if I didn't, I should go ahead and check what I actually did to not get that one heart piece. So I'll see you guys in just one sec. Okay, so I actually indeed was right, as in I did not collect this heart piece from the Skull Kid. Now I'll just explain what actually went ahead and happened um, after we go ahead and reach uh, Death Mountain once again. So I'll just see you guys in just one sec after I go ahead and reach Death Mountain. Actually, I'll just go ahead and just talk about it. So, anyway, it's fine. <laughs> So what happened is that at the end of the last episode, what happened is that I actually made the Deku Scrub who uh, was agreeing to upgrade our Deku Stick uh, carrying capability to uh, about 20. So I actually made him disappear because I declined his offer. So I actually uh, pressed a uh, F7 which actually uh, reloads the past save state. So I actually went ahead and just uh, cut it. <laughs> And what happened is that I forgot to actually go ahead and speak to this uh, little um, skull kid uh, this time around. So, uh, bad on my part. And I do apologize if it confused you guys because it was not my aim. <laughs> I didn't want to go ahead and confuse you guys, but I myself do not remember that I actually went ahead and forgot about that. So, uh, uh, so, <laughs> so absent minded of me, but anyway. Uh, I'm sorry guys, and now I think we can go ahead and take on the Dodongo's Cavern because it's gonna take uh, not that long, it's just not a huge temple, well it is not small as well. And I, and I haven't really taken on the temple in a long time so it may take a little bit more time but I'm gonna go ahead and just try it because if I can complete about uh, 3 fourths of, like, of like, this temple it's gonna be great actually. So let's go ahead and make our way back to Death Mountain and Pretty much, we have uh, like I'm pretty sure we have collected all the sculptors we could uh, at this point. Actually, a few extra as compared to what they've written in the website of Zelda Dungeon, which is one of the, the most trusted sites in the history of a Zelda website. So, if you guys could want to go ahead and check out a Zelda Dungeon, you would get some very very great news about the Zelda franchise and. It's gonna be great because you can occupy yourself with uh, so many amazing articles, so many amazing theories and be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave a link to that in the description down below. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enter into Donango's Cavern and let's see what happens in this amazing fiery temple. 
Now this is pretty much the kid version of the fire temple, but just that it's not as controversial and it doesn't have as much of fire. But I, I think that was a little bad of me because of the radius. Okay, it was. I pretty much just uh, threw it a little bit too close, which went ahead and made it bounce off it. There you go. That's gonna be good. And brother, guys, welcome to the, to the Dongo's cabin. This is a pretty interesting temple. I'm, I'm actually gonna go ahead and switch out to my Hylian shield because this won't burn within all the flame which we find here because. At times there are fire keys which you can see right above which you can go ahead and just burn up your shield, your um, deco shield, it looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step, indeed I will. Okay now let's go ahead and just jump across here, jump across to this area, now here's a very very dangerous enemy called the Beemos, which can be pretty devastating if you actually get close to it and if you get affected by its beam, that's pretty much why it's called a Beemos, <laughs> get it, beam, Beemos, okay now. Okay, so here, this is gonna be a very, very useless uh, little door which you can go and unlock, but over here... Hey, what is in this? Okay, nothing. So, you can go ahead and just... Go ahead and just throw this. God. There you go. Actually, it actually died. So, I can't really go ahead and climb this. God damn it, why can't I? <laughs> now, that way we'll go ahead and reach a long time uh, ahead which is something which would be pretty much easier if I could go ahead and reach this level right now because there's a switch if you guys didn't already see let's go ahead and escape, well, let's go ahead and escape this now here is a pretty confusing group, now I'm gonna go ahead and save once because there are like some baby dodongos here which can go ahead and actually blast if you go ahead and come in if you go ahead and come in contact with them so you want them to go ahead and just blast off what? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go and re I'm gonna go and just reload the that, that state because if you hit them they'll go ahead and explode and you want them like, to explode next to this uh, bombable uh door, whatever it's called. Again? Okay, fine. This is gonna be pretty <laughs> confusing. We we don't do this quickly, let's go ahead and There you go, is this the right one? There you go. So actually you would be able to open this door only after a long time after you get your bombs and stuff. But actually speaking, it's pretty easy this way. Kill one of them, kill two of them, kill three of them. Now let's go ahead and just obtain this and this. Go ahead and kill up the Skulkler. Skulkler is like blood is so gory. There you go. So we have obtained one skull fly in this temple out of three which we can obtain right now. And then So here is uh, this a pretty cool set of glitches which you can go ahead and just use at times. Oh god, okay. Now these are some enemies known as Armos, but some of them are just non living. God you freaking shut up. So some of these are non living, like this one, but there are some which are living and can go ahead and just crush the living hell out of you. But this one is pretty safe. But all armors you do look the uh, same, which is something pretty bad. <laughs> so, for example, I'm pretty sure this is live. No, this is not live, sorry. <clears throat> because you actually speaking could use either one of these armors to go in. Okay, now here I'm gonna go ahead and just use uh, my slingshot. Let's go ahead and make our way over here and just go ahead and collect this heart because we always need some hearts. Because in the door ahead is going to be the first mini boss of the temple, not the. Um, yeah, this is the mini boss of the temple, okay. Now, these enemies are known as. These enemies are known as uh, Lizalfos. Pretty weird enemies, not even gonna lie. Let's go ahead. So, if you do work like a few jump attacks, it's gonna be pretty much fine. Now, they, now there are like two of them, so you can go ahead and just escape or like just exchange with one of them. There you go, so I'm going to go just two hits of each one and they'll go ahead and escape. 
So I'm pretty sure there's one or two more hits or uh, one or two more, more jump attacks will go ahead and suffice. Okay, not that, sorry, because I keep getting confused between the buttons. There you go, one of them dead. Come along, you freaking coward. Come. Fight me. Nice, look at that. Expert stuff. Now let's go ahead and just jump across here and make our way to this room. Oh my god, I freaking despise this room. Because number one guys, here are the actual big dongos, which are pretty devastating. You can go ahead and just shoot one of them. There you go. About three hits will go and do the job. But they don't really go and, and give you much, so... Never mind. I'm not really sure what's in this little door, so I'm pretty sure it's just like a deco scrub or something. Uh, is it? Uh... Yes, it is. Of course it is. Waste of time. Pure waste of time. Let's go and make our way back here. Did it respawn? Oh my god, it did. Okay, so now we now we're gonna go ahead and use our deco sticks one, one more time to go ahead and just light up some of these things. Because if they go ahead and spot us, they will go ahead and attack us, which is pretty devastating because they shoot out fire, which is pretty bad and devastating. Uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and just double check if there's anything important in this room. Uh, because I like there's absolutely nothing. Oh my god! Because if we added the, the deco shield, it would pretty much just get burned. So here's the area which we actually uh, thought of making our way back to, or uh, rather, which we just what about a bla uh, black flip, back flip? That was pretty racist to me, but <coughs> back flip. All right, but let's go ahead and make our way over here. There you go. Okay, so you see there are a here? Yes, there is. So let's go ahead and just uh, grab one of these and let's go ahead and just throw them. There you go. I'm pretty sure here is another deco scrub. Wait, what's over here? Sorry. Here's, here, here, sorry. here is a deco scrub. I'm pretty sure here is a. She, no, sorry. oh my god, I'm so confused. Here is actually the dungeon map, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, girls definitely need the dungeon map for the temple. Because I'm pretty sure I remember where the compass is. And the first time I played this game, for some reason, uh, Zelda Master just felt like just skipping up. Or, not really like skipping up, uh, skipping the compass, and he called it a 100% let's play, which was pretty confusing to my eyes. Alright, so in this room, what's the matter is that? Here's a door. Did you which can go and un unlock, or rather like open or rather, it's pretty much like a, a bombable wall now here is the compass but the thing is that you cannot as you can't really go ahead and escape until you go ahead and you go ahead and just save once because I don't really know <laughs> see like almost is pretty much right in, like behind us oh god so you will pretty much need a, a bomb for this my god There you go. So one bomb strike will go ahead and do the job. So now, oh my god, these armors are so tough to go ahead and defeat. You guys have no idea. Now, this is something which a lot of people go ahead and fail at. But you have to go ahead and just come here, just go ahead and uh, drop this bomb exactly over here in the middle of it because it's going to go ahead and just blast all of them together. And that's going to go ahead and make these um, 
staircases go ahead and come down because they were supported by these uh, by these bomb flowers and they already go ahead and respawn. Nice. And I don't know how they go ahead and still stay afloat. There you go. Now here's something which you can go ahead and do to go ahead and save some time. You can just keep backflipping because the actual uh, climbing forward direction go ahead and takes a long time because you have to go ahead and actually wait for Link to go ahead and make his way across. Nice. Oh god, that's a lot of rupees. <clears throat> now here's another sculptor. Now in this room there are two sculptors which you can go ahead and collect. But one of them, you can't really go ahead and do it as of now, so let's go ahead, oh my god. You're freaking joking right now, really, why? Let's go ahead and make our way. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and complete this temple pretty well right now. Oh my god, it's gonna be so bad. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way back here. I hate this crashing sound, it's so freaking annoying, like it sounds like they are like just crashing on like your brains Cause it's that <laughs> Cause it's that irritating, now it, this door is open but you can go ahead and just kill off this sculptor before it goes ahead and, and attacks you And let's go ahead and just uh, There you go Kill off this actual golden sculptor as well, now these are the, Now I don't know if I've actually gone ahead and mentioned this but these are actually known as Golden sculptors. So as you go ahead and collect all of them, you'll be gold, right? <laughs> pretty bad on, on my part, but never mind, who cares? <laughs> okay, so here is a pretty irritating room indeed. If you can go ahead and kill off these fire keys, it's gonna be great. Take a wow, I did that pretty fast. So let's go ahead and just collect these. So I entered through, wait, wait, to which door, uh, door did I enter <laughs> through? So there's gonna go ahead and be a staircase somewhere over here, which I don't just seem to remember for some reason its location. There you go, this one. So let's go and just push this one across. That, that's good. That's gonna be enough. Now let's go ahead and make our way up. Um, ladder, I guess. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So this was a door which we had opened, and here you can go ahead and make your way up here. I'm gonna go ahead and save once because well, we don't really know what. Where it's doing? Oh god, I hate these things. These, as you guys could probably tell, are like the fire keys which can go ahead and burn you. And if you actually had a Deku shield, that would be very much devastating. So, here are some iron, vent, like some traps. You never know what will be around the corner in these narrow parts. Use Z targeting to always um, look in the proper direction. This is a useful technique, isn't it? It is, but for people who actually know the game well, it's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and make our way over here. And if you go ahead and make your way to this block and climb it, and make your way over here to this... Oh, okay, I think I got it. Okay, wait, I have to go ahead and make my way... Wait, where are we? <laughs> okay, here's the block, sorry. I was getting a little bit confused there. So here is a bombable door, or a wall. But we can't really go ahead and jump across it right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make my way. There you go. And this chest actually goes ahead and contains. Pretty sure. Oh, fine. A uh, red rupee. N nice. Uh, about 50. About 54 left. Okay, that's not the way to go ahead and do it. I'm sorry about that. So essentially, you have to go ahead and wait for this thing to go ahead and. Um, reach its maximum threshold and go ahead and just that's again too late or <clears throat> too early sorry it's just like it should, like, should just uh, blast the moment it reaches there oh my god it's gonna be pretty tough <laughs> so I'm gonna just try this one more time if I go ahead and fail this I'm gonna go ahead and just meet you guys in just one sec god why does that keep happening there's actually a heart in the, the room opposite this, this is so glitchy. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way over here. I'm gonna go ahead and save you once. There you go. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way. Again, it is wrong. My god. 
to be pretty precise with this. Is so bad. Okay, I'm gonna go into the guys in just one sec after I go and blast it. If I don't go and do it in this try, okay, this messes up like, the, the, the camera angle. Okay, I'll see you guys in just one sec. <coughs> there you go, guys. That's pretty simple. And, well, it, it, it is pretty simple, but it, it just took a long time anyway. So here is a nice switch you have to go ahead and hit to go ahead and make the ring fight go away for a short period of time. So here are some BB Dodongos which you can go ahead and escape. Nice. In this room, oh my god, not mini boss again. Okay, I'm in a very very bad angle right now. Okay, so this is a little bit this is a little bit like more tougher because they'll go ahead and take a lot of well, like they'll go ahead and take like, the same amount of hits, but it's a very na very like narrow place. So that's pretty much the end of it. Keep pressing this button for some reason. Come on, come with me, fight me. There you go, one of them dead. There you go. <coughs> so, they're both dead now, and where are those hearts which I just found? There you go. You can go ahead and jump across this, it's gonna be great. Oh god. <laughs> Here are some hearts. Don't fall off this, this is gonna be terrible. <laughs> what is this area? I've never seen this area before in my life. <coughs> Let's go and save it once. Well, that's like a freaking lava volcano right now. <laughs> or like a waterfall. But it's not really water, so I can't really say it's a waterfall. I miss Blabber. Is this the door? I'm pretty sure this is the door. No, this is not the door. Sorry. It's over here. Okay. So we can just jump away over here. Okay, so this is <coughs> a slightly different variation of the same room which we just were in a little while ago. But this time around, we have one of these uh, switches, but there's also another ring of fire which we have to go ahead and hit it right over here. It's gonna be a little tough. There you go. No, not really. No. <coughs> it's not really tough. This goes ahead and takes a little bit of precision and timing. And this is precisely where we will be getting the temple's special item, which is which is gonna be the bombs, which is a very very useful item in the sem like in this temple. <coughs> so. It's pretty much a bomb bag, not really bombs. So, as we have the bomb bag, we can go ahead and carry bombs. So, we uh, right now have the capability of carrying about 20 bombs. We can upgrade this later on, which is pretty nice. But let's go ahead and just make our way over here. And here is there gonna be, uh, sorry, here there is, here there is gonna go ahead and be one of these. But wait a sec, okay. I got this. So, as you can tell, there's a huge Dodongo head. Uh, and you should switch pretty much take a bomb and just drop it in its head or in, like, or in one of its eyes. And that's pretty much going Now, that's pretty much going I can't speak, okay. Now, this is pretty much going to go ahead and make the door on the opposite side easy to unlock. So, let's go ahead and make our way over here. Go ahead and uh, drop a bomb with the other eye. There you go. And that's pretty much gonna be it, guys. So, 
we have opened the door and now this area is the area we should go ahead now this is it's pretty much like it's jaw now here this is the door which will lead to the final set of quests which will ultimately lead us to what we know as the boss room like we're perfect time Pretty hard to go and aim them with this. There you go, perfect. We didn't even need to go and do that. Okay, never mind. Let's go and make our way over here, which is pretty much one of like the final rooms of this temple. Yeah, so we're already pretty fast with this. I'm just gonna go ahead and save once because I don't really want to go and be burnt by these idiots. <laughs> Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, so right now guys, we can go and make our way over here to this room. Now here is a ferry. Come on in. D don't escape through the wall. There you go. Okay, so now we can go and make a. Oh, actually, before we do that. Here is another sculpture which we can go and collect. There you go, finally. That's so dirty, I hate that one key. Yeah, uh, keys. Okay, so here is an armos and behind that is sculpture. Now if I am pretty good in position, I can go ahead and attack this perfectly. Die almost. <coughs> Nobody wants you. Oh god. This is gonna be tough. Okay, let's go ahead and just make over here. We are gonna be burned just again. But it's fine because we already have a ferry, or like we can go ahead and heal ourselves with, with the ferry over there. But if you can go ahead and escape it, it's gonna be great. There you go. And with that guys, we are pretty much done with this temple. <laughs> nice, huh? No, no, not really, but anyway. Well, it is nice because we completed like a temple and a lot of quests in one episode, which is great. Now, before we these things go ahead and irritate me, we'll go ahead and just shoot them out. Because twice it'll go ahead and hurt me and we won't be able to go ahead and take on the boss and all this magnanimity. Stop escaping my hits, you freaking bat. There you go. <coughs> okay, so here we can go and grab it this way. Since there are some slingshot bullets, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and collect them. Because for some reason, guys, in the Zelda franchise, if there's like an item which is just lying around, I just can't stand the sight of it just being there, and like I just have to collect it. So. That's pretty much how I always am. <laughs> there are, a, there actually are a, a, a lot of players who can go ahead and resist that sight, which is something I very uh, proudly can't go ahead and do. Okay, so here is the boss room, and uh, actually speaking, the boss is incredibly simple. So just uh, drop a bomb here and then open the chest because here there are some bombs which you can go ahead and use. The boss is incredibly simple. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Do a quick slash and though it may look very very intimidating it's just a very very simple boss in general and I really don't know why people get afraid of this boss <clears throat> so 
As usual, I'm gonna go ahead and save because you know I don't really want to go ahead and die to this boss. Infernal Dinosaur King Dodongo. And as you could tell, the theme of this boss is a little different from the other ones. Let's go ahead and just. So if you want a jump attack, it's gonna go ahead and do the job. Just go ahead and just uh, throw one bomb and just do like a jump attack. Okay, so the. Actually speaking, the boss music of all the bosses, except for a uh, King Dodongo and one of these other bosses at the end in the Fire Temple, is going to be different, which is going to be like, the exact same theme as this one. But like otherwise, almost all the bosses uh, themes are the same. Now this is going to be our final hit. Let's go ahead and do it. There you go. That's pretty much it. Just like no damage. And it's one of like, the easiest bosses ever in the Zelda franchise. And it's pretty much gonna go and just roll into the lava, which is pretty gruesome, not gonna lie. And he burns to death. Which is pretty weird again. And pretty gruesome again. So now we have to go ahead and collect the heart container which will spawn right next to his head. And I think that'll be the end of this, uh, of this episode, guys, because we completed a lot in this episode, and I'm pretty sure this is one of the best episodes I've pretty much done. So, if you guys would want to go ahead and see more of this franchise, be sure to punch that like button, and be sure to subscribe if you already haven't, and be sure to just click the bell notification icon so that you can go ahead and receive all the, all the notifications from my uploads. So, if you guys... And enjoy this episode, be sure to punch the like button as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, and peace out. See you.